Welcome to Programming in Python, part two, writing files. So we just saw reading data from files in our last video. Um, so data we read into our file program and our program did stuff. So today or this time what we're going to do is this other connection of writing data to the files. And again, we're going to start with our text files because text files are cross platform and they'll work on Windows, Linux, Macs, everything. So just like when we are reading from the files, our writing to the files is a three step process. We have first opening the file for writing. So getting that connection or that pipe between our Python um, code and the .txt file. Then we have step two, where we are writing data to the file. And then step three, where we close the file. So the open function is the same one that we have used previously. Um, it's going to take a file name that we want to write to. So maybe my data .txt, right, as a string. The mode now that we're going to be writing to as we do things is the W mode for write. And this function has a return value of, of another file object, right? That connection or that pipe between our Python file and that text file that um, we can name that variable, right? File, file out, F out, file object, whatever you wanna call it, right? This is that file object variable that's returned from the open function. When we go to write data, the most common way that we're going to use for writing data to the file is using the print function. So same print that we've been using all along, but this time we're using another one of the optional parameters. So the optional parameter that we're using for the print function is the file parameter. And we're gonna set file that we wanted to equal to to whatever our variable is that is that file object that was returned from that open function. So then we can just use this print and we can print right the strings themselves directly to a file, but we can also use things like if we have multiple things, a separator and um, the end parameter for, right, do we want to end with a new line? Do we want to end with just the space? Um, similar to how you were using print previously. Um, okay, once we are done writing our data um, to that file, we again want to call the close function. Um, again, on that object, that variable that we've been using, that is the file object variable. And this also will close that pipe, the connection between our Python file and our text file to prevent any corruptions of the file after we're done with it. So a little bit of a code example here. So if we have f out equals open words.txt into write mode. So this opens up that connection between our Python file and our text file. Um, and right, that connection that we're using is now called f out. So if we start with year equals 1991, and then we print hello world to file equals f out in words.txt, we would see right this um, text appearing based on the print. If I called print again, Python was created in this year, file equals by f out, then I will see that um, printed right inside of word.txt. If I print done, I didn't specify file equals f out, so the done goes to the console window. So only when we have specified, right, that something's going to a file, will it write in words.txt. Normal print still goes to the console window. And then our last step is always closing that connection once we are done with it. So a couple things um, when we're dealing with files. So um, we've seen reading from a file, and so that's one of the modes that we passed in. We saw writing to the file, and so when we write to a file, the file, um, if the file already exists, it's like we erase it and start over. If the file doesn't exist, it is created. So we can make up kind of a new file that we want to write to, and it would make that file um, in our project folder. 
And then there's also the append mode and the append mode would keep all the data that's already in the file and then add new things to it at the bottom. Um, and if you try to append to a file that doesn't exist, it's nicely created. So another example here, so I could establish my um, file object as when I open words.txt with append mode. And so I'm taking that same one from previously, hello world, um, Python was created in that. So when I open that connection, right, I see the connection from my Python file and my F out object that was already there. Um, and if I put something in append mode, instead of erasing what was already there, I would be adding it to my file. And then of course we want to call file.out afterwards. Okay, so what if we wanted to make a program that just writes information about you to, sorry, I still have a scribble there, um, write a program uh, information to write info to a text file and just loop to allow the user to put data about themselves so that they facts about themselves um, to include in the file. So um, if we were interacting with the user in our normal console window way, we just said enter info, they get to type a sentence. Do you want to add more? Yes or no. And we get these different facts. And then we want to write that to a text file. So this is your challenge, right? If you choose to accept it before lecture, how would you do this program? And then can you check, did we get a text file back? Thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you in my class if you're in my class or your professor will see you soon. Thank you.